Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and this is the critique for the weekend section that was leading lines and honorable mentions and all that good stuff. So I've pulled, I think I've got 10 photos here to go through and let's start with number one. I like the leading lines of this. I like the dog. The dog is cool. Um, maybe a black and white would have been cool too, but what got me here is that it's very difficult to do those those images where you basically put the camera down on something really low and photograph because it kind of messes with the balance. Excuse me. It messes with the balance, and I just felt that it, it, it seems to be uneven here. You know, it's there's. I would like to see less of this out-of-focus area and m maybe move it up higher so that the dog... The dog! It's a dog! Let me get out my trusty keychain here and see how I would have composed it. Yeah, the way that I compose it like this would be really awesome. And that would be a line basically here, here, and here, creating a, a you know a box, because that would be really cool. Um, that would give us enough out-of-focus area right here, but keep the dog as the focus. And right now, you kind of lose that. That's just my feedback for that type of photo. But it's, it's very, very close. Moving on to the next one. This was a 30-second exposure. I would really love to know what the heck he's doing here. Um, it's kind of hard. It, I mean, it really looks like there's sparks and fire. Um, I'm really curious to know more about this. I, I want to know more. I want to know what he was spinning around. Was he spinning around a fire? Uh, a uh, Something on a rope? And... And whatnot. This is just incredible. I think a lot of work went into this, and it's just really, really unique to spin that thing and then to throw. I want to know more. Somebody, please let me know how this was done. The reason I pulled this shot is that's a, a tuna. Do they call that yellowfin or something? I don't know. It, I, I'm fascinated. This is in Tokyo. I think it's at the world's largest uh, fish market. I am fascinated by tuna. They're just freaking huge. I watched this show on whatever channel, Discovery Channel, it was called Tuna Wranglers, where they literally like wrestle tuna and throw them into a big ass pen and then go and wrestle sharks out because these things can sell for thousands of thousands of dollars. Just can you believe how huge these things are? By the way, this guy did a cool set of um, other photos from the whole fish market. I would love to see more. So you can look for that in the forum. There's a link to his Flickr page where he shows more of these. I just wanted to point this out that it's incredible. And, it, and I think more people should go to a, a, a fish market like this and shoot. I, I mean, fresh fish that came right out of the ocean. I just love, I mean, look at how big that fish is. That's just incredible how big those things can be. Um, I just think it's cool. And that's why I focused in on it because I'm just fascinated by the whole thing. So we've got this. Um, as well, and this was taken with a 51.8. It's close. It, it's very, very close, but it's the background that's distracting. We have everything really in focus. Now, I know that the, the metadata, data, the EXIF data, said it was shot at 2.5 at 50 millimeters, which is the equivalent of 75 on a DX camera, but what could we do to get the background to blow out more? You don't have to shoot at 1.8. It was at 2.5. But changing your angle, getting a little closer, changing your focal point would help blow the background out. Because if we got closer to this first guy and focused in on him, or if we got closer to the the to 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 everybody and focused in on the guy speaking, we'll call him a drill sergeant. This is my weapon. This is my gun. This one's for pleasure. This one's for fun. No, no, no. This is my weapon. This is my gun. This is for killing, and this is for fun. There, I got it. That's my um, Full Metal Jacket wreck and uh, uh, blah, blah. If we got closer to one of these guys, say this guy. I should stop pointing at the screen and use the mouse. If we got closer to all of this, filled the frame with like half this guy's body and focused right here, then these guys would be out of focus and this guy would be in focus and the background would be out of focus. There's too much in focus. So if you had the ability, I wasn't in the situation, so I don't know if you could get any closer, but if you got closer and focused in on this guy or one of these guys and got and just filled the frame more, then the background will totally blow out and you would create more dimension. I just think this photo is very very close. Go out and shoot it again for um, veterans if you can because we would consider these military soldiers veterans because that's what they're going to be or are currently. So very very close this is just interesting it's it i wish it was sharper i wish the colors were better i wish it was clearer but i had to point it out because it kind of looks like the big cat is staring right at this kid which it is and there's nothing there 
but it's at a zoo. There is glass. It's just an incredible moment. I think what could save this image is a very high contrasty black and white. Um, pump that contrast. Bump the exposure. So bump the exposure. Bump the contrast. A little bit of clarity, and I think it would clean this image up and take it to the next level to be like, whoa, photo of the day right here because, you know, it's like, it's just cool. It's like Simba is looking at Simba. Mufasa. Ooh, do it again. Who didn't love that movie as a kid or currently when they released it in 3D again? Cool photo. That's why it's here. I shoot raw made out of crayons and uh, crayons, not crowns, crayons. You know what's cool? Thank you, kids. Wanted to point out the kids, and I love the drawings. The drawings are great. Oh, I love the coloring book. Nice job. Always have to point out the kids doing a nice job. Way to go with the spelling everything correctly and stuff like that. You know what's the coolest toy, I think? One of the coolest ones ever is the Crayola Crown Crayon Factory, where you can mix and match and heat up crowns and then create your own out of a mold. What an awesome idea. Or you could take old stubby ones and mix them together and get cool concoctions of colors. Awesome idea, whoever makes Crayola. Crayola makes Crayola. That's right. I actually have some Indian red crayons downstairs. My mom saved them from back in the day when they took Indian red off the market. Um... The next one, cool shot. We've got the birds flying. That's cool. Uh, but because there's so many birds and it's just the leading lines of the of the birds right there, it's cool. Do you know what they call geese? No, I'm not even going to say that again. We call them Canadian geese, and then the people in Canada call them American geese. I am not anti geese or goose or geeses. Um, they do just crap all over the place. But there's a place everywhere for birds. So don't yell at me for saying I don't like geese or animals. The one guy who yelled at me that one time. I like birds. I like animals. I have a kitty, Mr. Meowgi. I've had three kitties, and we rescued this one. All right, next shot. Really nice. We got Ray Rylan here. Uh, I believe we spoke to Rylan before for a rapid-fire critique where he was on the line. I'm going to try to do that again to get more photographers on the line in the actual um, uh, rapid-fire critique so that they can give feedback on the feedback that I'm giving. Really nice shot. We got what I would... I guess they're brothers. I mean, they've got the same uh, freckles going on. And they have the same nose going on, and they have the same, almost the same smile. Just what a cool shot. What parent wouldn't love to have this photo? What's cool about this is they're both wearing hats, but the face has some nice light in it. Nice job, Rylan, on that. The background is extremely blown out. I'm pretty sure he's shooting with a Canon because it looks like Canon colors. Um, and I think I recall that he was shooting with Canon from back in the day. Really cool shot. This is just one of those, hey, awesome, you know, a shot that you can hang on the wall forever. And that in... in 10 years, they should recreate the shot again. And in 20 years, they should recreate the shot again. And in 40 years, they should recreate this shot again. Go back to the same location. Try to do the same exact thing. And throughout time, that would be an awesome collection to have. Starting with this photo, then the next photo, and the next photo after that. Doing the same thing as they get older. I just love those type of things. And that's something to think about, Rylan. Talk to them about that. Just, I mean, even if you don't take the pictures, that would be some amazing thing to follow if you do it every year or if that it's done every five years or every couple of years. Love this shot. Nice job. Um, these are always tough shots. This was taken with a Sony Alpha. Haven't seen too many of those come in to the forum. But there were a couple of shots that I liked, and I think this was the one that I liked the most. It's obviously so sad that we've got so many gravestones and, and, and lost so many people in wars because... Obviously, war sucks, and uh, wish we didn't have to go to through that, or wish we all just got along, of course, because it would be a better place if we weren't always fighting over things. Um, but it's a very cool shot. The colors are great. The distance that you see everything in it. Uh, you know, if this is Washington, it's it's very interesting. You see everything at a distance. Uh, you, you see the gravestones. It's just one of those shots. It's it's a nice nice job on the shot. Terrible scene. But what can you do about it? It is what it is at this point. Um, but nice job with it. And that brings us to this. I think this is the last one. Love the contrast. It makes me try to think more about what's going on in this image. Like, where are they? I want to see more of this uh, more of this metal work. I would love to see some tighter shots. Um, horizontals leading away. Leading lines leading out of the frame. Um if we filled it horizontally here, you know, with the girders, because the way that the light is interacting with the shadow, it's really, really awesome. And I would love to see that other angle. So maybe the photographer did do that, but I thought this was a cool shot. Great contrast, great, um, great processing and editing, cool leading lines. Awesome. 
thank you, great job. And that brings us back to the puppy dog sitting here on the train tracks uh, waiting for a train to come. And that's it. Nice job this week. Enjoy the weekend theme coming up, veterans slash children. More information on that over on froknowsphoto.com. And that is about it. Nice job again this week, guys. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Thank you.